What's happening everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be updating you guys on the progress of Resume Builder app that I've been building using Next.js. And if you guys have not seen the first two update videos, I highly, highly recommend watching those two first and then coming back to this one because then you will get an idea of how far the app has come since the initial launch. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. This is what the app looks like right now and we'll be going through all the new features one by one. So let's get started with the first one which is ability to drag and drop sections on the resume canvas. So you navigate to settings and then click on sections. Now this model window basically shows you the blueprint of your resume where you see all the sections laid out similar to how they are laid out on the resume itself. Now, wherever you see this multi-directional arrow is basically that section is draggable. So let's say I have this intro section, I can drag it below skills. And as you can see, sections are switching their position as we are dragging things inside the modal window. And instead of just dragging top and bottom, you can also drag sections across. So for example, let me move skills from the left hand side to the right. Skills are now at the top. Now here is the really interesting part. Let's say if you are someone who does not like the left and right layout, you just want something top to bottom. So what you can do is you can drag all the sections to the right and the resume will automatically fix all the spacing and give you that nice layout, which is just top to bottom finish. Now I personally prefer left and right layout. So I'll go ahead and switch all my sections to that. And not just the drag and drop section, you also have the ability to toggle the visibility of different sections from this modal window. So for example, if you just click on this eye icon, it'll hide the section. The skills section is gone. This is really helpful because some users, they don't want to show, for example, the address sections. So they can simply just come to this modal window and hide the address section from the resume. Now, this is just feature one that I have added. As you can already see, this is really helpful feature to get a custom resume based on your need. Now let's move on to the feature number two. Now in feature number two, I have added a functionality to basically switch the fonts on the resume. So in order to do that, let's again go to settings and go to colors and fonts. Now these are all the color options user has. I can also switch between different colors from this model window. And here's the really exciting part. I have added four different font families to the, to the app. Number one is Lato, Poppins, Monstret, and Roboto. And once I switch to, let's say currently I've selected Lato, but let me switch to Roboto. As you can see behind this model window, the, the fonts are changing actively. Roboto is my personal favorite. So I'll just switch to that and not just the font family. I've also added an option to change that font size. So for example, currently extra large is selected, but let's, let me switch to medium. As you can see, the font size is switching in the background. I personally like keeping the font to medium on my resume. Now this is pretty much it for the styling feature. Now let's move on to the next feature. Let's say you're making a resume on your personal computer. You add all the information and now you go to your friend's place or you go to a library where you're using a computer there and you have to send a resume to someone and you go to resume for your free resume.com. Now your in all your information is on your personal computer. Now either you can re enter all your information or you can get your personal computer and then download the resume from there. But it, the whole scenario is just super inconvenient. Now in order to fix that, what I have done is under settings, now you can export a JSON file, which will have all the data that you have entered on the resume. Let me go to incognito window, for example. Now, as you can see, I'm basically starting from scratch, but what I can do now is I can go to settings and click on import data and then just select the file that I just exported. And there you go. This is how handy this feature is. This basically lets the user move between different computers. Users are not just limited to one computer. You can edit your resume on multiple computer, eliminating the need of re-entering all the information again. Let me switch back to the main window now. And the fourth feature that I have added is more from UI perspective. Now, 
if you have seen the first two update videos you might have seen there was a sidebar where let's say if you want to change any content on the resume you have to navigate to the sidebar and then change it from there the whole thing was not user friendly so what i've done now is every section has this pencil icon for example and in order to edit the content of that section you can simply just click on that pencil icon and there you go that's the headline and the content for that section so you can directly start editing from this model window in the previous version of the app the section headlines they were hard coded but in this version i've also added the ability to change the headlines for example so let me change intro to oh, what am i typing profile and as you can see the headline is changing in real time now this is pretty much it as far as the new features are concerned now let's move on to the next part of the video which is what are my future plans for this app now there are a lot of new features that i want to add to this app number one on, on the list is linkedin integration i want to give the user an ability to connect your free resume app to their linkedin accounts the app will automatically get all the information from their linkedin profile and pre-populate all the work experience skills profile contact everything for them eliminating the need of entering the content by themselves i think this feature will be game changing because it will reduce the time to enter content significantly number two on the list is i want to add a lot more sections to the resume currently there are about 10 sections but i want to add sections like accomplishment languages and a lot more other sections as well the third thing that i want to add to yourfreeresume.com is more layout options now the resume is already highly customizable but i want the user to have that ability to just pick the layout they want and then they can customize the layout based on their needs so that is coming up the fourth feature that i want to add to your free resume is ats system now if you guys don't know what ats is it's basically applicant tracking system every time you submit or your resume for a job it goes through the ats system first and once you score good enough in the ats system then it goes to the actual hr person now my plan for that feature is i will ask the users to copy paste their job description and based on what information they have added for their resume i will calculate the ats score and the higher the ats score the better the resume for that particular job will be i think these features once implemented they will be a game changing taking this app to the next level and remember this this app will be free forever for anyone to download resumes for free uh, i personally think getting job is already hard enough and making resume should really be the easiest part of anyone's journey in getting a new job and that's pretty much it for this video if you guys found any value in this video please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next one